Hey everybody, welcome to RCTW Observer. My name is Jason, and I'm here to play, observe, review, and inform you on all things related to Roller Coaster Tycoon World. Welcome back. So today, I wanted to talk briefly about the system requirements for Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and also bring you up to speed on the system I'll be playing on. Also wanted to have a quick chat about the beta release. Uh, there seems to be some confusion out there as to when it's really coming out, so I wanted to put my two cents in on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. You can access the minimum system requirements by going to the RCTW Frequently Asked Questions page. Uh, from there, it will guide you to the RCTW Steam site. And I've gone ahead and included links to both of those locations down below. Once you are at the RCTW Steam site, you'll just need to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and see what's needed. Now remember guys, these are minimum system requirements, so the better your hardware is, the better the game will render when you're playing. As you can see, you'll need a minimum 64-bit operating system like Windows 7 or higher. For those of you who are thinking of upgrading, Atari has confirmed that RCTW will operate on Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 is available now, and it's free to upgrade if you're interested. Personally, I've been using Windows 7 for quite some time now, and I really like it, so I think I'll be sticking with that for just a bit longer. Mac users, sorry, game's only available for Windows OS systems. You're going to need a minimum of a 2.3 GHz Core i5 or AMD equivalent processor, 4 GB of memory, and a dedicated video card with 1 GB of memory or higher. For DirectX, you'll need version 11. If you don't have it, don't worry. DirectX is free and more than likely will prompt you to install it or update it once you've uh, first launched the game. Now, finally, you'll need 10 gigabytes of available space on your hard drive, so make sure that you clear out some room if you need it before the release. Now, since I'll be doing a lot of demos, gameplay, and reviews from my computer, I wanted to share with you what I'll be running the game on in comparison. Now, as mentioned before, I have Windows 7, so the 64-bit operating system is covered. I work off of a Dell Studio XPS 8100 with an Intel Core i5 2.8 GHz processor. I currently have 8 GB of RAM, and I run my games on an ATI Radeon HD 5670 graphics card with 64 GB of memory bandwidth. I currently have DirectX 11 and 535 gigs of available hard drive space, so plenty of room to download once the beta hits. So as you can see, I should be able to run the game at more than the minimum requirements and hopefully give you guys some quality gameplay videos. Now finally on the subject of the beta, there has been a lot of chatter on the RCTW forums with confusion about when it will launch. Some are saying it's this coming weekend, October 24th, others are saying the following weekend, October 31st for Halloween. Well guys, everything that I've read so far indicates a release on the Halloween weekend, and based on the chatter I've seen on the forums, it seems that a lot of people are getting kind of heated about the wait. I just remember that Atari and Invisio Creations are putting every effort into developing a quality game for you, and by the time that the game is actually out, you'll probably be so immersed in fun that you'll just for forgotten about how much time it took to actually get there. So have a little patience, it's right around the corner, we'll get it soon enough. So that's about it for this segment, guys. Thanks for listening, and remember, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to type at your heart's content down below. I want to give a special thank you to those who have viewed and subscribed so far. For those just joining and uh, like what you see, give me a little like, and feel free to subscribe and share to your friends if you um, enjoy what you've seen so far. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next video. Happy building, and keep it loopy.